Hello Internet, I am Torstein from Cinema Terror, and today I will be talking about a British made for TV movie that you probably never heard about called Treads from 1984. I had never heard or read anything about this film before recently getting a recommendation to watch it from a friend of mine, and boy did this movie not disappoint. Treads is a docudrama made by BBC exploring the disturbing output of what could happen if the Cold War had actually set off a nuclear war in the 80s. Treads is set in the city of Sheffield, where we follow different citizens before, during and after the war has taken place. What we see is the downfall of modern society and the long, hard road of attempting to put it back together to what it once was. If anyone dies while you are kept in your fallout room, Move the body to another room in the house. Label the body with name and address, and cover it as tightly as possible in polythene, paper, sheets or blankets. If, however, you have had a body in the house for more than five days, and if it is safe to go outside, then you should bury the body for the time being in a trench or cover it with earth, and mark the spot of the burial. Threads is the most depressive what-if movie I've ever seen. While terrorism is the main fear of the western society of today, back in time and up until the 1980s, the fear of a nuclear war breaking out was the main cause of plenty of justified paranoia. This movie takes that fear from within you and increases it tenfold. It is such a bleak, depressing look into what our society could become just because we are at times unable to get along with each other due to different cultures and power-hungry leaders. Even though I am a product of the 80s, I was too young at the time to worry about war and all of that stuff. But my god, after watching Treads, I sat in my chair shocked and filled with fear that this could actually become reality at some point. And if you do start to think about it, you will realize that the possibility of a nuclear war breaking out might just be as possible today as it was 30 years ago. The movie has been described as a docudrama as it doesn't follow one set of characters through the struggles but rather jump from character to characters whenever it feels necessary, and it actually works quite well, as all of the characters represent different generations of people, making you identify with some, and look at others as your parents, grandparents, siblings, and even children. It hits you right in the soul when you see the struggles that some of these people had to go through during the nearly two hour long running time. Hanging in the atmosphere, the clouds of debris shut out the sun's heat and light. Across large areas of the Northern Hemisphere, it starts to get dark. It starts to get cold. In the centers of large land masses like America or Russia, the temperature drop may be severe, as much as 25 degrees centigrade. Even in Britain, within days of the attack, it could fall to freezing or below for long, dark periods. There are also some narration done through typewriting entering the screen to inform us how far we have jumped in time or to display grueling facts regarding what's going on. Add to all of this the restrained television look with the love use of music score and Treads gives you such a realistic feel that it becomes hard not to be disturbed by all of the events that are taking place on the screen. Even if it is a low budget movie compared to theatrical released films, they sure use their money correctly. There was a lot of effort into creating the post apocalyptic feel with plenty of trash, destruction and awfully realistic corpses laying around in the great remains of Sheffield. It does not shy away from showing the absolute worst and most shocking details, to the point where I am actually surprised that this film isn't more known by horror fans over the world. The film is cleverly written by Barry Haynes, and it is written from the perspective of the common man. The dividing of class becomes a big part throughout the movie, and is yet another scary thought of how divided a society could end up if a disaster like this were actually to happen. The cast is filled with all unknown actors, at least to me, and that is the best way to go when it comes to a movie that attempts to take you out of the cinematic comfort zone and instead sell you on realism. If you are interested in Treads, then there is a British DVD out for a decent price. It is basically the same as a VHS transfer, but this is a film that won't improve by having a cleaner transfer anyway. I do wish that there was some extras to it though, as everything from behind the scenes stuff to its impact could be greatly discussed by people involved in the production to people just becoming affected by it at the time. Treads is an incredible movie that I'm sure will be my biggest discovery of 2017. It's finds like this that makes me happy as a movie fan, as it confirms that there are still gems out there to be found. Or perhaps I've just lived under a rock, and everyone else knew about the greatness of this film but me. Oh well. 
Trades is a masterpiece of a film that gets to you and will leave you sitting and pondering about life and humanity once the movie is over. Trades gets a deserving 5 out of 5. A fun fact about the film is that it was shown to high school students in Britain during the 80s. I can't imagine how shocking and horrifying that experience must have been for the youngsters at the time, as it sure as hell would have fucked me up at that age. I'm gonna guess that the only way any of you has seen this is if you're actually from Britain, right? I'm curious to hear what anyone else's thoughts on this is, and if it affected you as much as it did me. And what other movies would you recommend are in the same vein as Threads? Let me know about it in the comment section below, and I hope you enjoyed this review, subscribe for more, and thank you for watching.